Greetings, everyone. Archimedes here. And welcome back to the first of many brick-filled LEGO videos. Today, we're going to do a Bricks Tips and Tricks tutorial on alternate joints for robots and mecha. LEGO has designed some great joints over the years, such as the ball click joint, this one here, which is incredibly sturdy, or its slightly weaker cousin, a ball joint. However, as an avid robot builder, I find my stores of these pieces quickly decrease, and I've had to find some alternate ways to make robot shoulder and hip joints. My first concept involves is a mostly brick built design that involves just five simple pieces. Two angle plates, you can see they work like this, I don't really know what to call them. Two one by twos with a hole in them, and one peg and this is a round hole peg. Now, what you do is you would, and of course you also would have a, whatever the arm is going to be, I'm just going to use this white piece for right now. So what you do is you pin the two bricks with the, cro with the hole together and attach the first angle plate, okay? Then you would attach your arm piece, and then if you have an extra, it'd be good to add one down at the back for stability. This is a shoulder joint, despite height's simple looks. It has a range of motion forward and backwards for walking, or for, in this case, swinging the arm forwards. It also can move up and down, giving a very nice range of motion. I have a small concept model over here, not a very good thing, but just a little basic design that involves that, that method. I've got it can turn its arm forward and back, come side to side, it's kind of simple and kind of hard to, I can see this as maybe being hard to integrate into a larger model. So thus, here's a second concept model I just came up with this morning. It involves using a Technic gear, two pins with cross holes, you can see they're, well, they have a cro they're cross pins. I can't quite show it to you in the video, but oh well. Two of, well, these look like this and a one by or a one by three pin and whatever kind of frame you want to hold the arm. In this case I'm going to use this little blue one by two fist almost like piece. So this is how the design works. You would take the gear, you would take these two white pieces in this context, and you put the cross hole pins in there cross side. You then attach the arm piece, however you want to put this, and stick it through, ah, halfway through the 1x3 pin, like that. You then place that through both holes on the white pieces, and attach that to the gear like this. And I'll just stick this on here for show. Curses. The arm would work like this. You can turn up, up and down like this, and then if you were to attach it to a wall with a, for example, this studded brick here, this um, brick with holes in it here, and a peg cross hole piece. It's one of those little things that can attach to a cross hole, and it can also attach to a normal hole. And now you have another robot arm. You have the gear, which can turn like this, an arm, which can articulate up and down, Leaving it, I would say, a fairly interesting design. I can see there could be a lot of concepts that you might be able to use with this. Plus, the gear kind of looks cool. Now, what if you don't have one of these black gears? There's a lot of ways to modify the design. For example, you can, you, you can you make this design using a 40 tooth gear as a base. So this will use a 40 tooth gear, two black pins, two pins with the cross hole, and two of these Cyclops eye pieces. I really don't know what they're called, their technical name is, so if anyone knows, please tell me. So, the design will begin with a similar sub-assembly, attaching the cross hole pins to the cross hole side of these Cyclops pieces. Okay, that you'll then attach the black pins, one on each side, and they should be on opposite side so that they can look, the two sub-assemblies will look like this. Great. Now, you attach these on to the black gear, or to the gray gear, 
like this. And then, just for show, I'm going to use these 1x5 white Technic beams to simulate the arm. We'll attach these on here and bring them together. And voila, you have another Technic arm. So you would just take the cross hole back here with just another beam. This would be like the main body of the robot. Here you go. You have the same range of motion back and forth and up and down. Today, we worked on some basic designs of shoulder joints for mecha and robots. We had a basic brick-built design, like this, and some more complicated Technic designs. Now, these de there are many more designs out on the, in the LEGO universe, and these are just scratching the surface. But hopefully, these ideas can inspire you to build new things, or if anything, just this video that maybe this video entertained you for about five minutes. Before I conclude, I'd like to say a few words about what I plan on doing with my channel over the next couple weeks, months, years. Well, you'll decide that. I plan on posting a video every Sunday. For the first three Sundays in the month, I'll be posting Lego Bricks Tips and Tricks tutorials, where I'll show some different Bricks Tips and Tricks that might be useful, usually on a certain theme. So the theme for this month and maybe next month will be Robots and Mecha. On the fourth week, I'll do a my own, we'll do a My Own Creation Spotlight, where we'll see a model that I a model which I think shows some of the tips and tricks that we've run over the last couple weeks. Then, if there just so happens to be a fifth week, we'll do something special. Any suggestions or comments that you have, I will try to make a video out of if I think they seem really logical. I'm not gonna. If you told me to build the Empire State Building, a life-size version, I'm really probably not going to do that. But you'll see. Or maybe we'll do something else fun. Maybe I'll do a presentation on the history of Lego. Or, I don't know, I'll pour out Legos over the screen for the whole day. But you'll see what happens. Anyways, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this. My name is Archimedes36, and I bid you all farewell. Thank you so much for watching. See you next Sunday.